Good morning. Right, we are going to give you one today in Exeter. Hope everybody's doing well. Smash the like on the video if you don't mind. Quick word on yesterday. Gaelic Warrior absolutely bolting in. Uh, you did get the feeling though a lot of the horses in behind were only schooling around. However, he's showing how high class he is. The way he travelled and jumped. Um, he is a, an absolute weapon going right handed, isn't he? He just looks like an absolute jess and uh, one for the future however i'd be wary of him <coughs> in cheltenham i know how good he is but he just is better right-handed he's been to cheltenham twice now and got beaten twice so um i just wouldn't be one lumping on him anti-post for the cheltenham races i know he's a very very good horse but you have to bear in mind he is better right-handed the facts just stay that it's all in his form um asian spice today the 230 at Exeter. This is a horse that I had uh, seven points each way on at 28 to 1 the last day when winning. Uh, interesting, only up six pounds, five year old. Uh, Harry Cobden takes over from Bryony Frost, 10 stone six today. Should be winning again. I think there is a. It, it, Ito Ditto was an impressive winner the last day in Chepstow. However, it'll be hard for Ito Ditto to maybe give a horse who could still have a few pounds up his sleeve over a stone and, you know, four pounds, so 18 pounds nearly. So you just get the feeling uh, it's all here for Asian Spice maybe to follow up and hopefully it can take advantage of uh, the progression it's shown in the handicap the last day. And I thought a six pound rise is fair for a horse that clearly travelled like the best horse for a long way. And now the winning margin wasn't a mile. It, it was it was kind of close and close to the line. But it didn't tell the story. It dropped in out the back. It moved through the field effortlessly. Took it up three out. Which is way too soon when you're when you're dropping in out the back. And still toughed it out late. So uh, should be able to hopefully follow up. I do have two on the service today. Hopeful now to get a really good day. I was so sick yesterday. I had a, a big bet on Saint Segal, um, falling at the last when you know tipped it up at six to one, and uh, just being one of those absolutely painful, painful results where a horse jumps to the front and falls at the last. But anyway, it happens. So have a few quid on Asian Spice today if you want to double. That's in Cork, thirteen to two and four to one. That's on the Patreon service. Also, lads, I'm doing a raffle tomorrow for the Cold Bear Sports One Hundred Club. Don't miss out. Uh, the raffle will be going ahead. It's not going to meet the number of tickets that were, uh, it's meant to meet. But I'm going to go ahead with it anyway and give someone a chance to win in. I think there's only four or five tickets sold there now. So anyone that buys in has a one in four chance or one in five chance of uh, winning. But it will be going ahead tomorrow. So check that out. I will put the details of that in the comments below. All right. Hopefully Asian Spice will get it done today. Just a quick word on our selection yesterday in uh, ascot that i gave out um the horse of ollie murphy's um his name will come to me now in one second but a real uh, horse that's just quirky at the minute a uh, storm leader or strong leader he um he looks like he wants a little set of blinkers or something because he clearly is a very very good horse i just thought coming up the hill i think it was the fourth last he kind of looked around and clambered out over it also going down the hill the far side he kind of jumped out to his left and then when he came into the second last he was looking around and he kind of fell out over it. and then he was just unlucky to be run down by uh one upon nichols but i do think he's a very good horse However, maybe a set of blinkers on him and maybe not make the run and maybe let someone else make the run him. But he ran a monstrous race. So best of luck today. Hopefully Asian Spice uh, can follow up and get it done.